Hello, and welcome to Artfully Told, where we share true stories about meaningful encounters with art. I think artists help people have different perspectives on every aspect of life. All I can do is put my part out into the world. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. It doesn't have to be perfect ever, really. I mean, as long as you, you're enjoying doing it and you're trying your best, that can be good enough. Art is something that you can experience with your senses and that you just experience as, as so beautiful. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Artfully Told. I'm your host, Lindsay, and I am delighted to be bringing you a Another special episode today, we are going to explore all of the different answers to the question, what's the most important role of an artist? Over the last year and a half, I have gotten to ask that question of so many artists and guests that have been on my show, and I absolutely love hearing people's perspective on this question. So I'm excited to bring it all together for you in this special episode that I hope you thoroughly enjoy. Probably just be true to yourself. You know, you, you can't fake art. It's, you know, yeah, I'm portraying a role in some things, and I guess people would maybe think that's fake, but you, for me, I want to do it to the very best of my ability. Uh, I want people to, when they, when they look and see me doing something, they don't see me, they see the person or the, you know, that I'm trying to portray. I think, I think it's to delight, truly. I think it's to delight those, whether that delight can be in the form of, I appreciate it, I think it's garbage, I think it's the greatest thing ever. I think it's to get, to get a response from, from the people who are experiencing the art, whether it be music, whether it be a painting, whether it be a book. You want a response. You want, you, you want them to feel something. So to me, as an artist, I want my people to, or I want the people who are experiencing my work to feel something. I know that sounds very general, but to me, it's about feeling. I would say the most important role is probably sharing your gift with others just to, again, make them happy. I think a lot of times art sometimes can be, you know, just kept to yourself if you're scared of showing other people, but the best thing you can do as an artist is share and inspire others with it. To be honest, because we as people have dealt with enough bologna sandwich that, you know, it doesn't do anything for anyone. If you're just doing something for the sake of the adoration or the sake of a finished product, but if you're true and you're intentional and you're authentic, I mean, that is the product that people can truly get on board with you know i think that that is to not just to people but also to the the work itself and then to the artist because there have been a few times i may have flubbed or you know played it safer and then you know i step back and the scene is over and you know you're just like what are you doing like you you know that you cheated yourself and you're like why did i do that so the the biggest thing to me is just just be honest be authentic with with your work and everything that you do you know, I don't see any need to talk about things that you don't understand. You know, like if, if you're a music artist, it's like, you know, tell your story. You have a story and it's beautiful and it's yours and it deserves to be told. I think the number one rule for an artist is to be honest. I think that to be honest, whatever that means, to be honest. I think that there are a lot of different kinds of roles for different kinds of artists. Like some artists have you reflect on, you know, historical events or connect you to maybe an idea or a group of people that you wouldn't have a connection with. And I guess in any situation, whether, you know, like if I'm just creating artwork to be playful, I'm still creating a connection to this like physical, tangible object existing in space. And so For me, I would say artists create connections where we maybe haven't thought about them previously. To be themselves and to be truthful about what it is that they are trying to convey, whatever it is, no matter how dark you might feel that it is, or no matter how light it is, because just I 
feel like if you can feel something and you can get something, some type of meaning from whatever it is, then it is art. And so if you are making, whether it's a piece of music, a painting, if you're dancing, whatever it is, if it has meaning and it is true to you, then I think that is the response, that is the responsibility of an artist. I don't want an artist who tries to be the next whomever. I don't want an artist who, okay, what is everybody liking right now? Let me try to create that. And I understand that people, you know, got to do what they got to do to get where they're trying to go. And so maybe they start off that way because they're still learning. But when you get to a point where you're confident enough and brave enough to be able to produce your own work, your own truth, whatever is in your soul, then I definitely think that that people have a responsibility to bring themselves to the art world because, like I said, we need it. We don't need another Van Gogh. He's here. He did his thing. Thank you, Van. But I want to see another whomever it is, Brittany, Sam, you know, Godfrey, whoever, bring me your art, bring me your truth, or else it doesn't mean anything. Is to to tell their truth. Because we all are having such different experiences in this world that what you want is that somebody is expressing your experience somewhere in art, doing something. And you just want to connect with art that's expressing your particular experience that you're having on this planet and is sharing your human experience. And so... I just think artists should be telling their truth of how they're viewing the world and their experience, because there's going to be people out there that can relate and want to relate and want that camaraderie and want somebody to quote unquote understand them. But I just feel like it's a shared experience. It's a story that it's, it's, that can be shared with several people. We're not all having the same experience, but there are, are people out there who are having, you know, the same struggles and the, the same highs and lows and joys, and they're looking at life and the world and God and in the same way. You want to connect to art that is speaking to you personally. I think that artists bring perspective to everything. If we didn't have artists, our world would be very boring. So I think perspective and entertainment are probably the two things that are most important. The role of an artist is to tell us what to think about. And I think my experience with monsters and the study of them and sort of the practical use of monster theory is that art gives us a way of saying things that we couldn't say or feeling things that we couldn't feel or experiencing things that we had no other way to experience. Most important role to entertain and not to entertain others where that is a big plus, but to entertain yourself, to keep yourself happy, to stay while you're doing it for it to be a good, you know, way to keep yourself happy. And, you know, it's a major plus if it can bring happiness to other people too. Well, I think the, the role of the artist is to lead us in our evolution. I think that, you know, Darwin pointed out that we evolved from creatures in, in the in the sea, you know, and we keep evolving. And I think that there's an assumption that evolution is just kind of like on autopilot. But I don't, I believe that we could actually hasten the pace of our evolution. We can, you know, steer and direct our evolution. And the ones that do that are the artists. So the role of the artist is nothing short of saving humanity. Well, the most important role, I think it's just being true to who you are and to trust yourself to be able to communicate whatever it is that you want to communicate. Because if you're going about doing something in the arts to please someone else, it's not really ultimately going to be successful. I think you've got to be able to do whatever it is from your heart to really be able to please yourself. And it may not please everybody and that's okay but as long as you are conveying what you want to convey from your heart then it is going to touch someone else's heart 
There are many different roles that people have depending on their abilities and what their focus is. So like I mentioned earlier, some people just want to bring joy into the world. And I think that is lovely. Joy is defined on many different levels and that can be a pure focus. In me, I I flavor joy on top of a baseline of perspective. I I am ever the educator, even though I am not officially teaching in a classroom. My goal is to always teach in some manner or another. So making this tasty nugget of learning, I think, is how I function and a lot of people out there function. There's other things you can do. Sometimes you just want to make a pretty thing or sometimes you just want to decorate. And that, again, is very, very valuable in this world. But mine is teaching. To make art. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to. I think wanting an artist to be a philosopher, a a spokesman, any of that, really not as important as the fact that they just create the work. To authentically create. I mean, that's it. To create with, with the truth of their experience, whatever that is. It's not about building skills, although that's great if you do, right? I mean, you look at, again, in in music, punk rock, you know, the Ramones and the Sex Pistols and, you know, bands like that, they sucked as musicians, but you could feel it, right? They were putting their heart and truth into the music, and that's why it resonated so much. To keep it alive, to keep it going. I think for me, it's to tell the truth. Ooh, that's good. whatever your truth is in that moment to be vulnerable enough to be honest in a way where you are sharing something real, sharing a piece of yourself with people that you might never meet or really get to know. Oh, artists are the way showers. Most of us are stuck in our, our brains, myself included. Why do you think I share this? I have to learn what I'm sharing. So the artists seem to know that when they go into that flow state, when they go into that still point inside and bring something into the world that was never seen before, that they're dovetailing with all of life, with consciousness itself. And so they show those who've never gone there before what's possible. And they bring something new to form, which is pure magic. I think that that they're, okay, the, 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 it has two types of importance. One would be importance for oneself. I think that as an artist, the importance of art to yourself would be allowing you to express feelings and modify your. So it's something that is both a source of expression and also a source of comfort to yourself as an artist, I think. But as to society or more as a whole, I think that firstly, It can make society better by adding more beauty to everyday lives, but it can also shine a light on things that might be social ills or social problems. So it's simply uh, another way of communicating. As a journalist, as a former newspaper editor, I would say that the role of art is not entirely different from the role of any other form of media. You can either shine a light on problems or spread the word on something that is Beautiful. Spread the word about something that is fascinating. Bring more beauty to the world. It goes back to freedom, uh, to liberate. I, I like that word that you used during our interview, to, to liberate. Liberate all emotions, whether it be happiness, sadness, anger. It could be, yeah, sadness, happiness, joy, liberation of all emotions. Because once you release it, then you can get to the next level so yeah uh, liberation i would say (laughs) tell the truth just tell your own truth and also try to find your own i know that stories have been told and retold but try to find your own angle to to put your own expression on on a different take on a story but i i really believe in in being honest in in your work i think persistence is also something very important for an artist to have. Because when you have a passion to tell a story, you don't give up telling it. There are a lot of obstacles that come up. 
in any different kind of dancing, whether it's painting, whether it's film, there are so many things that come up in your way. But as long as you have your passion to tell a story, you will overcome those obstacles. And I'd say, you know, there's an expression, uh, genius is 90% hard work and 10% ideas. So really, it's about how much work you put into it. So I would say persistence is absolutely key for an artist to have. It's absolutely a key quality, rather, for an artist to have. I think if you truly believe it, see it, want to share it, that I think is probably what makes art art. There's something there that's just intrinsically real. Well, for me, the, the role of an artist is to share their art. It's to share with other people how they see the world, to share how they feel about the human experience. I, I hate to sound trite, but I'm reminded of that question. If a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody around, does it make a sound? So if you're creating art and you don't share it, then are, are you really an artist? You, you you might have a hobby, and that's that's just fine. You can make art for yourself, but I think for it to be art in its truest form, to be an artist, art needs to be shared. It needs to be enjoyed. Well, it, that's a that's a tricky question. I mean, I think the, the role of the artist is to to offer ideas to the world, and hopefully, they can offer an idea no one's thought of before. And of course. You know, everyone is born ignorant, so everyone everyone experiences new ideas all the time in the in the course of their life. It's not like there's this one set of ideas everybody knows. Everyone has a different experience. So so everyone has a way to experience art and some people gain something from it and other people don't because maybe they've already experienced that or or they don't understand it, you know. So so you need a wide field of art out there because there's just different art for each person. So you go through life learning things. You get an education, you read books, you, you know, I'm a media junkie. I watch films and I listen to music, you know, it's consume, consume, consume. And I think at some point you want to contribute to that or you want to give back. And it's like, well, I've learned all this for what reason? It's like, so that I can take my experience and my knowledge and offer my ideas or my observations on that. So that's where art comes into the play, I think. And it, I think it's something everyone can participate in. It's not just for professionals. Everyone can be an artist and offer something to the world. I think that it's just to share your perspective, whatever it is. And and again, I mean, you'll... <laughs> This might be very obvious from the way I've answer I'm answering these questions, but I just feel like, you know, art is for everyone. So I just think the most important role is to share your perspective. And if that perspective is, you know, something deep that people have to think about, or if you're making an important political commentary, or you're just, you know, making things because it's cute and your perspective is you want to cheer people up and make them happy and that's the point of it, then all of that is valid. So I think it's just sharing your perspective, whatever that is. I think it's liberation, freedom, total expression, and to help shift the misconceptions of, of reality. And it's an opportunity to interpret whatever it is that you as a human being are here, are here in your own path to experience and yeah, to, to, it's it's the artist's journey. I think to express themselves and uh, make their voices heard because we're we're documenting life in a creative way for history. So just continuing to do it and using their voice in different ways is just is the most important role for them. So yeah, just doing it. I, I know that artists do different things. I think that many artists like to make political statements and and things like that, but I, I don't think that's the most important rule or role. I think that, a, that an artist should do it for themselves primarily. I, I've, I've seen people that are artists that want to become famous. I don't particularly want that myself. I, I mean, I don't 
I never desired to be famous. I just like entertaining kids, basically. But I think that a person needs to do it as a as a way of expressing themselves. I, that's the most important thing above everything else, I think. So my instinctive response to that is leeriness, because I, first of all, I obviously do believe that there is an important role for artists. I'm a professional artist. It's it's something I've devoted a huge portion of my life to. It's my passion. I, I, I'm always a little fearful that there's a danger because we've all known that sort of the artist with the sort of messianic complex, you know, <laughs> the idea that mm -hmm. I'm creating something because I believe it's important. And this approach generally creates art that is not that enjoyable. <laughs> And I'm I'm resistant to that. That said, I do believe that art is important, but I, I tend to flinch from that as a starting place for making something. But if I had to say what is the role of art, again, the first thing that leaps into my mind is it's to provide a kind of funhouse mirror. It's to provide a reflection of reality that distorts it in some way or shifts our focus onto a specific aspect. Of the most important role of an artist is to not worry about what everybody thinks. <laughs> the most important role of an artist is to do what they want to do in, in themselves, what feels right for them, and to not cater to anybody else, unless, of course, they're catering for a, a reason. Like I said, you know, a minute ago, like, you know, I, I want to sell my work and I know this kind of stuff sells and this is what I'm creating because I know I can make a dollar and pay my bills. That's great, you know. But I think the role of an artist is to be who they want to. I think the role of anybody, I think the role of an artist is the role of anybody, really. To be who you want to be without explaining yourself. Of course, unless you're harming people, that's a whole other thing. But, you know, be who you want to be, express how you want to express, live how you want to live without the expectations and pressures of society and other people. That's how I feel artists and people, not should, because I don't like the word should, but would benefit in living life, being free, free of, free of all of that, to just be what you want to be, do what you want to do, say what you want to say. The most important part is to communicate and inspire. If you have to find a fundamental way to connect to someone through your medium, and once you communicate with them, you inspire them uh, to take what you said and make it their own thing. And for books, any character story, once I get it out into the world, it is no longer my story. It is the reader's story. What they think is far more important about the protagonist, the antagonist, the plot, than anything that I've dreamed up. It is their world to be inspired and kind of take it into their own lives and contribute. Artists are the key player in terms of creating something new and creating a future of a future. Like it really, like, you know, until now it's, it was an engineer, but I think because now we've built some infrastructures for people to be more creative, possibility is unlimited. Like with artists combined with technology, like it's, it's going to be like crazy. Like it's going to be our future. <laughs> I know it's kind of a, <laughs> it's been kind of a weird idea lately of the truth, but I, I think to shine a light on things that maybe for various reasons, society or people have said, you know, we can't look at this to shine a light in a way that is accessible. I think that if we just like, you know, shove things in people's faces, like that's not really doing the job of art, in my opinion, to invite people to see things differently. That's what I think the role of an artist is. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of the answers to the question, what's the most important role of an artist? As you can tell, we have such a diverse group of guests who have come through the show, and it's been so much fun to hear their perspectives on some of these really interesting questions that lead us to think deeper about different aspects of art. So thank you for joining me. And if you're feeling as inspired as I am, I'd love if you would share this with a friend or two. And we will catch you next time. If you have a story to share with us, we would love that so much. And I hope your day has been artfully told. <laughs>